How's it going guys? MCF Got Milk here and today I'm doing another five reasons why video and this time it's going to be on the five reasons why I do not like having an SUV. Why it sucks to own an SUV. So without further ado, let's get started. The first reason is obviously it's the size. Like I said, I love the size but it also sucks due to the fact that, for example, parking. Like you can't get into a a small little parking spot because you're just so big and bulky you have to make sure you know where you are how high up off the ground you are so you don't hit the curb or go over the curb in my case because I go right over the curb because I'm high up so I have to watch out for that number reason number two it ties up number one is just the size of it it uh, high rollover density if I was to take like a not like a obviously any car really just to go decent speed and just whip it you're gonna flip over or not exactly, but when this thing, you will. I could be going probably like 20, and if I just like skirt in the media, I can probably flip this thing and without any hesitation or problem. Even for example, if I was to go, if I'm on the highway, we have, our highway down here is 295, and it's like today it's raining. If I was to be going 60, 65, 70, wherever traffic's doing, and I go off to go to the exit, I'm like, eh, I can do it. I'm good. It, even if it's not raining out, I take it kind of fast, not exactly too fast, but it just, it feels like your whole car is just gonna start tumbling over. Like, it feels like you're about to be like, oh, I'm on two wheels, but I could be, honestly, but I'm not going too fast. I'm not going that fast. I know you're probably like, oh my God, but no. It, like, right now, watch. If I just turn a little bit, the whole car is just like, leans, and it's just like, kind of scary. Right, before I go on guys, I just want to remind you that you can subscribe for more of these videos, comment and like, and I will definitely keep on doing these videos if you enjoy. The support is incredible and I will appreciate every part of it. I am not greedy with this. I am so thankful for all of it. So without further ado, let's go back to the video for reason number three. Reason number three is obviously we all seen it coming it is gas like oh my god the gas on this thing is awful but it does depend on how hard you floor it and how rough you drive like right now i am just if i was just driving like this not flooring it where you can barely hear the engine it says my fuel economy is up high but i'm still getting like 12 to 13 miles per gallon it is a 2007 which i understand but i kind of find it ridiculous due to the fact that my girlfriend's fiesta the car that I did a review on, that thing's like 27, I forget what it is, 25 miles per gallon city, and like 36, I believe, highway. I might be totally wrong, because I do not have a good memory, but I'm pretty sure it's like that. This thing is just a gas guzzler. But I only waste half a tank. There's 22 gallons in this tank, 22.5 to be exactly, but I usually have to get gas. I don't have to, but I usually get gas once a week, and that costs me about, 20 to 30 dollars so it's not too bad but it's it's pretty bad reason number four the engine like it's decently fast like I, I i'll admit like it's a decent engine but it's not for performance at all if you were to get even something a little bit to performance with the ford explorer you would want a v8 this thing is a v6 and once you like i said it, zero to 60 slow zero to 60 eventually but once you get up to the pretty much the higher, like when you're at 50 miles an hour, like if you're trying to go onto the highway, then that's when the power takes off and you can just boom, right up to 70, catch up the traffic. Lastly, number five, once again ties in with the engine. It's not performance. Like, I like, oh my voice, did you hear that? <laughs> it's not performance. What I mean by that is, I'm one of those people that like to get up to speed. I don't like speeding. Like on 295, I won't speed, but like, if I can stop, not, okay. <laughs> if I was to be getting onto the highway at like 25 miles an hour on the on-ramp, I like to just pretty much floor it, but not floor it, I like getting to speed. I like got a red light and I'm first in line and I'm going to get up to speed. Oh, I, I wanna just floor it and like feel the G's of that. That's just the amazing part. Cause what's the point of speeding? I know it's not, okay to it's kind of reckless to just floor it and spin tires and go but it's better than speeding i know you can easily lose control the same way but i'm just one of those people i'll be honest with you i'm not one that lies but if i was to i can't for anything i don't even think in the rain this thing does a burnout like i have never really tried it but i 
I tried it once and you just, you, you can't. It's just decent pickup speed for what it is because it is a big car. It is a V6 4.0 liter. It has something to it. All right guys, well that's the video I have for you today. Make sure you, oh my God, my voice is cracking like a mofo. But once again, thank you guys for watching so much. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell everyone in existence that I exist because I'm lonely and I want you guys to enjoy my videos. I'm doing this for you and I'm doing this for me because I absolutely love what I'm doing. I have such a strong passion for it. So thanks again so much. And as always guys, have a great day. I don't care what your problem is. Subscribe, watch next video, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.